Stromer Associates was contracted to develop an automated tote and package handling system consisting of carousels, shelving, and an automated conveyor system for Atlas services. This approximate 60,000 square foot state-of-the-art facility is located in Reno, Nevada. Our project team developed the internal equipment layout, building size, and configuration to support present and projected distribution requirements. All the software that was used in the directed carousel picking and conveyor tracking had to interface with Atlas Services' current paperless picking system. Stromer Associates project teams have helped the electronic industry by creating a design that meets your operational throughput and expectations by working with key management on specific design criteria, developing a well-defined budget to reduce costs because we know what the cost should be not what the vendors want it to be. Using Tromer Associates proprietary methodology, we provide a well-defined roadmap that ensures that your scheduled startup is achieved on time and within budget. If you're concerned about making the right and safe decision, we should talk. If this video case study has caught your attention, we ask you to visit our website. The Atlas Order Fulfillment Center, also known as the OFC, is located in Reno, Nevada. The OFC offers warehousing, value-added services, consolidated shipping, kitting, semiconductor programming, and tape and reel services. The Atlas OFC was recognized in Modern Materials Handling Magazine as the warehouse of the month for overall efficiency and productivity and is becoming the benchmark in warehouse facilities for the electronics industry. The OFC offers 75,000 square feet of operating space, $2 billion in sales capacity, shipping capabilities of an estimated 2,700 orders per day, and over three quarters of a mile of conveyance systems. The receiving department utilizes four triage and eight receiving stations. The 22 replenishment and pick pods house a total of 44 carousels. All orders are routed through 12 manifest stations, of which four are designated to quality assurance. Finally, packages are diverted to five different courier routes. The OFC is one of the key elements of VEBA Electronics global logistics capabilities today and into the future. A typical day at the OFC starts at approximately 9 a.m. in the receiving department, where incoming supplier product is unloaded. UPS and Federal Express are the largest couriers, bringing in approximately 1,000 packages per day. Once received, product is forwarded to the triage area. Triage, also known as D-Trash, removes the supplier packaging, allowing the OFC to put the components into our various bin boxes. The purchase order is first scanned for verification into the system, and then the system generates a label known as a trace number. As the metro racks are filled, they're sorted by carrier priority. A receiving operator reviews the item, scans the trace number, and line items are then verified per the PO. There are several inspection processes that the operator performs prior to accepting the components. The Warehouse Management System, WMS, assigns the components to a bin location within the carousel system, and labels are generated for the bin box and components. The bin box is then assigned to a tote. The product is placed in the tote and sent on the conveyance system to a specific carousel for replenishment. As parts arrive at the pods, the replenishment of parts takes priority over control numbers for picking. Diamond Phoenix Systems acts as the interface to perform replenishment, picking, and cycle count operations. Replenishment is the put-away process of incoming supplier inventory. This is accomplished as the tote arrives at the appropriate pod and is scanned into the system, which activates the carousel system, enabling the correct bin to arrive for component put-away. The bin box is then scanned into the system and placed in the correct bin location on the carousel. The empty tote is then placed back on the monorail system. 
picking and passing of components is the next operation at hand for the Diamond Phoenix system. This takes place by removing an empty tote from the monorail system. The tote is then scanned for the highest prioritized order in the WMS and the carousel is then allocated to the proper bin location. The bin box is scanned into the Diamond Phoenix system for component verification to the sales order. While the system is confirming this information, the system also verifies any special customer requirements. Should any be required, they'll automatically appear on the screen for the operator to review. Once this has been completed, the operator picks and repackages the required components to fill the sales order. The remainder of the components will be put back in stock and the sales order will be placed in the tote and sent on to one of two options. The first option could be a pass mode, which would go to a new pod location for additional parts to be added to the order or directly sent to the manifest area for shipping. Totes arriving at manifest will be diverted to one of 12 stations. The system is designed to handle a control number with several line items requiring multiple totes. This allows several totes to be diverted to one particular pod for shipping. The system also has the capability to direct totes requiring special customer requirements to one of four QA manifest stations. These stations offer special barcode labeling, 100% inspection, issuance of special certificates, and test data or errata sheets. One of the most technologically unique design features of the manifest area is the capability at any one of our stations to ship domestic or international shipments. The system also has the capability to generate all international documentation including NAFTA, certificate of origin, or shipper's export declaration and will print these documents in the language of the destination. Parts are then packaged by the manifest operator and put on the conveyance system. From the conveyance system, packages are then sent to the shoe sorter in shipping to be diverted to various couriers. Approximately 1,400 orders per day are being processed out of the OFC with an estimated goal of 2,700 orders per day. With the Atlas Order Fulfillment Center now online, the entire VEBA group is poised to enter the new millennium armed with state-of-the-art distribution to ensure our continued commitment to superlative customer service.